ora and hello to our viewers across New Zealand and Australia. I'm Philip Duncan. It's great to have you with us. Well, we are tracking two very powerful high pressure systems at the moment, but there's a low stuck in between the two. So high number one is out over New Zealand, mostly over the North Island and extending out uh, centered just north of the Chatham Islands. That's encouraging an easterly to the top of New Zealand and a much warmer than average northerly flow. And when I say much warmer than average, I mean, you know, 10 degrees above normal for this time of the year for some southern areas. We will talk about that briefly in a moment. But this is the main system out here. Stuck between these two highs is a low that is not overly large, but it's being squeezed by both sides and that's pushing up the winds and creating a bit of a stormy day around Sydney. So we've got some heavy rain coming in for Sydney today, um, around about 50 or 60 millimetres in that pink purple shading. And on top of the rain, you've also got some very strong winds. In fact, this is seven o'clock tonight um, Sydney time and we're looking at severe gales along the coastal areas here potentially some gusts in Sydney over 120 or 130 kilometers an hour in the more exposed areas so that's pretty strong weather being created just by that low pressure system very localized to pretty much the New South Wales coastline and very specifically around Sydney itself. That system doesn't reach New Zealand until Friday as you'll see in the maps in a moment. But the uh, position that it's placed in at the moment is encouraging a cooler southerly right up Australia's coastline but warmer winds as I just mentioned coming into New Zealand. So the west coast and parts of Southland and central Otago are over 8 degrees above normal tonight for our overnight lows. That's the departure from normal for our minimum temperatures overnight tonight. The North Island with the high pressure system stuck over the top of you means lighter winds, clearer skies, and so therefore some areas are colder than average. Look at Gisborne getting down around frosty territory tonight. Okay, let's get into the actual forecast. And Wednesday, you see that low moving off from the Sydney coastline, but first thing in the morning, you'll still have those gales brushing coastal areas. So very windy weather along New South Wales and right down actually towards South Australia. Melbourne, not quite so bad, but you've got that colder southerly coming in around that high. And then on the other side of it, the subtropical portion coming down over the South Island, pushing your temperatures up yet again above normal. We saw 20 degrees reached yesterday. That will happen again today, Tuesday, and again Wednesday, we think, in these eastern areas as this warmth comes through. We've got nor'easters at the top of the country, a uh, little bit warmer than it's been, but there could also be a bit of cloud and the odd little light shower caught up in that. On Thursday, no real change. Northerlies for the North Island and Northwesterlies. So Thursday's a warm day. This whole week is warmer than average nationwide, um, but you'll certainly feel it in the North Island on Thursday. The rain clouds come back into the West Coast. So we've got some bigger rainfall totals occurring over there. And so that's where we go next. Here is the rainfall total for the next three days on the West Coast. And some of these areas here are getting up over 125 150 millimeters over Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday itself. So some bigger totals. The good news is much lighter totals up here where there's been flooding over the last month or two. And then we've also got some further rain maps. This is going in towards the weekend. Two-day rainfall total, Friday and Saturday. And again, show some heavier falls. This time it is moving a little bit further up into the Nelson Ranges where you might get 80 millimetres of rain over those two days. And a similar story around Mount Taranaki as well. But elsewhere, pretty, uh, pretty low totals. And these eastern areas that need the rain the most, Hawke's Bay, for example, five or 10 millimeters. So that's a bit of a shame. Um, that's normal though, when the weather is coming from the west over to the east. So as we go into the weekend, Friday looks like this, wet weather moves into the North Island, mild winds coming down for you, but that's where that rain is going to start to accumulate for northern areas. And the low, pretty weak, stuck between these two big highs, the one moving in from south of Aussie, and the other one, which was near the Chathams, being sort of pushed northwards. As we go into the weekend, that low pressure system forms two centers, one to the west, the other to the east, and it pushes in across the country with messy weather and a colder change, a more wintry change, 
moving into the South Island with snow along the mountains and ranges. And here's the next low south of Aussie coming in, bringing in some uh, northwest winds and some rain for Adelaide. And our final map for Sunday shows a cold southeasterly change moving into the North Island. Snow through the central ranges, maybe even on the desert road. And we've got sort of milder weather, very uh, much further to the north around Kaitaia and Northland, while the weather starts to dry out in Southland as the Australian high that was over here now slinks along to the south of New Zealand. And that other system that was pushing in around Adelaide falls apart over Melbourne and brings in northerlies for those of you in Tasmania. So there's a bit of a changeable forecast coming up for the next few days in both countries, but severe weather-wise, not as bad as it could be. Sydney's really the main focus today, and then the west coast of New Zealand with that heavy rain coming in over the next few days ahead. That's all from me. We'll be back again tomorrow with our next New Zealand and Australia update, plus our next global weather, weather watch update, which we're doing at the moment. The uh, comments on YouTube are fantastic. It's a work in progress. I'm basically putting them together and not really sure of, <laughs> of a pattern yet, but we're just putting it together basically uh, f featuring the main sort of highlights of the weather going on around the world at the moment. So check out our global weather updates, the next update coming out on Wednesday, along with our next weather watch update for New Zealand. We'll see you then.